So although I've lost a lot of legends over the years, when Kong died, it was just like out of the blue. He was like the heart of, of DDK. Kong's last breeding was with Nikki. We didn't plan on keeping any of these puppies. I think Kong kind of gave us a piece of what we needed to be able to say goodbye. So today I'm traveling to Connecticut to start my memorial tattoo. My kids want to do everything like me, you know, so they got little stencils of the same tattoo that I had and we put them on their backs and, um, yeah, I don't know, you know, just, just, yeah, just, give me a sec. Yo, what's up, bro? Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? So today, me, Lisa, the whole gang, we're gonna go down to Connecticut and we're gonna see Xavier, my tattoo artist who did my chest piece of Hulk, and we are going to start my memorial tattoo. But the plan is to just have a mural of the fallen legends on my back. So we'll start with General and we'll go on from there. I think it's perfect that we, we it, it starts with General. Like anybody that knows DDK knows the drill, that General was was it. That's why he's the logo. And, and I'm, I'm willing to use like my entire back for it, you know? So yeah, then we can sure, have that bro. and we can get all that, that on. You sent me a Kong was super dope. I, want, I would love to do that one too. The smile is gonna be crazy, yeah, man. Smile, you know? bro. Like people, he, 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 he got to people's hearts. Kong, it is 150 pounds of just gigantic pup. Kong, he's one year old, please Kung Fu. Kong is Hulk's son. The fans love Kong. He just has this amazing cheese grin. He, he smiles. If I had teeth like that, I'd smile like that too. When Kong died, it was just like out of the blue. I remember he, one leg was swelled and I ended up brought him to the vet and then all of a sudden I got all this news. It shows F cancer, F cancer, F cancer. Oh, we have every... Kong passed away from lymphoma, so which is a form of cancer. How it happened, we don't really know, but uh, they say that things like that can come from, you know, flea and tick medication. It's not a hereditary thing. When I actually think about Kong, like you know, in depth, obviously there's still a lot of just, just pure sadness that just doesn't have anywhere to go. I mean, Kong was born on the show. You'll hear his name, King Kong. So I think you could probably see right from that moment, like the joy in my eyes when I saw him and it's like how proud I was of him. He's probably gonna be Hulk's biggest son, so have a look. It's hard to explain the connection that I had with him, you know? I knew he was never gonna train. I knew he was never gonna do anything like that, but he didn't need to, you know? He was like the heart of, of DDK. Um, Kong's last breeding was with Nikki. He declined pretty rapidly over those next two months while she was pregnant, but he did stick around to see them be born and into this world, which you know, I, I think he waited for, and he ended up passing away the next day. We didn't plan on keeping any of these puppies, but given that it was Kong's last litter and how special he was to all of us, we each kind of gravitated towards a different puppy. So my boy was Vinny and Marlon really took to Raiden. I think Kong kind of gave us a piece of what we needed to be able to say goodbye and, uh, and keep his memory on. Vin! <laughs> so Vinny is from Kong and Nikki. There was a point where we were gonna sell him. And for the first time, I was like bawling. Like I was in tears at the thought of him leaving and we decided that he wasn't gonna go anywhere. So, so I think we're pretty much done here. Uh, we're gonna go down and take Raiden out, see how Marlon's been doing with him. Raiden is Vinny's brother. All right, come on. You want me to get up in the camera? So we got Raiden here today. He's my latest trainee. He's really at the early stages of training. I mean, I'm just throwing different tugs at him, different sizes, different surfaces for him to bite. The small little detailed things that are important. You want to eliminate any form of hesitation because hesitation gets you killed. Oh, good. Good, very good. <sighs> Hold on, I gotta catch my breath, bro. I'm too old. Kong's son Raiden is a rising star here at DDK. I got some big plans for him in the works. He's one of the most unique looking dogs I've ever seen. I named him Raiden because of one of my favorite video games, you know, Mortal Kombat. And if you don't know Mortal Kombat, then just like, I just, I feel bad for you. See what, this is 
called is called hunt drive, right? His ability to work on his own and to not come back to me. If he stays in there for a long period of time looking for the ball, that's exactly what I want. That is the mark of a good dog. So the higher the dogs drive, the easier they are to train. He's hardly even looked back to me. He's just focused on figuring out how and where the ball is. And that's exactly what I want. Got the ball, perfect. Good job, good job, good boy. I am actually very proud of him. Today, he made some big leaps and bounds. After putting in some work like that, I mean, I have no doubt in my mind that Raiden is gonna be pretty successful around these parts. King Kong's legacy lives on. Today, I'm traveling to Connecticut to see my guy, Xavier, and he's gonna start my memorial tattoo. The plan is to have a mural of fallen legends on my back. So I'm pretty excited. Let's get it rolling. So right now we're in Connecticut. I'm excited, long ride down, but we all made it. A couple dog poops along the way, a couple throw ups, but it's good to get out, you know what I mean? It's good to get out. What's up, bro? How's it going, man? Good, long time. How you been? Good, man, good. To get it going, brought the whole gang with. So we're walking into the tattoo shop and obviously everybody flocks right to Hulk. Everybody loves Hulk when he's around, so. He'll schmooze with the people and I'll go get inked up. I know Marlon probably about 10 years now, I was introduced by a mutual friend. It's kind of funny because we have like a connection through dogs. Some of my dogs are from that bloodline. So today I'm gonna do a tattoo of the general. He's a legend to me. So to do this project for Marlon, it's an honor for me. Hulk's like, dude, we're just getting a tattoo. We're just gonna tat a grandpa right now. It's cool. The world thinks Hulk's the king. That's not really true. General's the king. It all started with him. He's the OG. He's the logo. Nothing would exist without the general. It doesn't take anything away from Hulk, you know? But in reality, there would be no DDK without General. General is the man, the myth, the legend. He is it. I don't know what life would be like without tattoos, honestly. Life would be weird. My kids want to do everything like me, you know? So they got little stencils of the same tattoo that I had and we put them on their backs and, and uh, yeah, it was pretty epic, you know? And no, no. My kids didn't get tattoos. Ian, you look like a dog chasing your tail. Yeah. Man, he's farting like crazy, man. He's farting like crazy in there. Stinking up the place, man. I'm a bodyguard, dog walker, dog washer. <laughs> I do everything. But yeah, we're done, bro. The reveal. Red and irritated, oh, but man, no. It's so accurate, man. Tattoo is one of the most important things to me. This is the next part of the tattoo right here. It's a memorabilia of what brought me where I'm at, what gave me what I have. You know, I wouldn't be anywhere without these dogs. I could carry them with me until I get put in the grave. And you know I didn't I mean? carry so, one too. That's what it's all about. <laughs> 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 you didn't feel a pinch. Oh, didn't hurt him at all. <laughs> cool, bro. Rap. Appreciate you, my man. Go eat some. I know you're hungry as hell. <laughs> I'm so hungry. I'm ready. It's generations, you know. Time goes on, and, and most of the, you know, the OGs are, are are gone. At the same time, you know, you got to look at both sides. Without death, you you don't have life. So it's kind of the same thing. I go up there, I look up there, and, and I can see all these puppies. And you know, I mean, this is this is life. And I mean, that's what it looks like in the beginning. And then you have the beginning of these, you know, beautiful relationships. Like I love him. I love him to pieces. You know, so I can't wait to have a, a life with him, and you know, make stories and you know things with him. That's a cycle of life. Some families go fishing. We train dogs together, that's what we do, that's how we bond. So today I'm gonna have the two biggest dogs at DDK coming straight at me, full force, mouth open, teeth coming. All right, that's, that's not good, that's not good. All right, I don't wanna do this anymore. 